In this video, I'm going to be answering an email I received from a viewer here on the channel. This is a super interesting email. So if you have any input, please leave a comment in the comment section below. It's about teaching and I usually don't get too many emails about this. So I thought, let me make a quick video to reply to this because it's a really good question. The person's name is Jarek. The subject is math teaching, boredom, and high level math. Hello, math sorcerer. I just recently became a math teacher for high school students. And I was just curious to know if you ever get bored teaching the same subjects over a number of years. I also wonder if as you get better and more capable of doing high level math, does it get more difficult to teach students who are beginners? I found your channel and have been using the Sullivan books to teach algebra, but I am eager to get back into the harder applied calculus topics. It's been a while since I took those classes in college, and honestly, I didn't feel that confident in them back then either. However, teaching has really helped me level up my math skills, and I look forward to diving into them soon. I feel that as I advance in these subjects, I will consistently want to teach higher levels until I reach the top. Thanks for your response. So Jarek, first let me say thanks for your email, and I do have a ton to say about your email. So first, you want to know if you ever get bored teaching the same subjects over a number of years. I'm going to say it depends on the individual. Everyone is different. Some people like teaching mathematics more than other people. It's the same for any profession, right? If, if you're a medical doctor, some people love being a doctor. Some people don't. You know, some people love their jobs. Some people don't. For me personally, I never actually would say that I was bored teaching any math class. I think that no matter how many times I taught it, because there are different students in each class, it's always a different experience. Some classes were more fun to teach than other classes. And that was primarily due to, I think the students in the class, not so much the subject. It's really the students that make the class, not, not the actual subject. You can make any math class interesting. And I think that it's the dynamic of the students that really, really make the class. Sometimes you get really fun students who ask questions, who participate. That for me makes it more fun. So no, I would say I personally never got bored teaching the same subjects. I even had situations where I would teach the same class, you know, back to back, like statistics, 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 three stats classes in a row back to back. And no, I, I don't say, I can't say it was boring. So I think it's going to be an individual thing. I do know that some teachers did get bored teaching. But again, right, it just depends on the individual. Some people really enjoy what they do. Some people kind of enjoy it and some people don't enjoy it. And it's not just for teaching, it's for everything in life. No matter what job you have, you're gonna have some people that love their jobs. You're gonna have people that hate their jobs and you're gonna have people that are just somewhere in the middle that sometimes they like their jobs and sometimes they don't. So yeah, it's gonna depend on the person. Your next question is, I also wonder if as you get better and more capable of doing high level math, does it get more difficult to teach students who are beginners? So I feel that your question is stemming from the place that, you know, you have people who are really, really good at math, but they can't explain it. And that's something that I think perhaps is a communication issue. I think perhaps people who are really, really good at math and they're not very good at explaining it, they just need to work on their presentation and their communication skills. Because I do think they're different skills, right? You know, doing mathematics and, and teaching mathematics, you know, they're not the same. Now, for me personally, I've always found it to be fairly easy to try to explain mathematics. And again, some people are naturally better at it than, than other people. So I don't think the more math uh, you learn, the harder it becomes to teach students who are beginners. So again, my answer is no, a, a very strong no. In fact, I would say the more math you know, the easier it becomes to explain it. Because if you understand math from the way it's taught, so if you think back to like how you learned long division, how you understand it, that's how you want to teach it. You know, you want to teach it in a way that you learned it, you know, the way you learned it. How, how, how was it that you learned something when you didn't know it? That's how you want to explain it to someone because you're explaining it to someone who doesn't know. And that's, that's the secret, I think, you know, when you're, First, learning the quadratic formula. You know, what are the things you did when when you were learning that? You, you wrote it down every time, perhaps, before you did a problem. 
you wrote down the values of A, B, and C. You know, you plug them into the formula very carefully. You didn't skip any steps. So things like that, when you teach things to beginners the way that they should be taught, the way that you learned them when you were a beginner, that's how you teach mathematics effectively. And I think that the more math you learn, if you realize when you're teaching that you really have to teach it like they don't know it, it will actually make you better at teaching beginners. So teaching mathematics and doing mathematics, again, are different things. And I think that, yeah, I think it will actually help you. Just always when you're teaching, try to remember to explain things as simple as possible, right? That is that is the key point. And don't assume that the students know anything, right? Try, try to fill in any gaps they may have. You can't make assumptions about what they know, regardless of what classes they took. You know, maybe you're teaching a calculus class and, you know, you're going to assume they know all the trig identities. You can't do that, right? People will forget the trig identities. So you got to go back to basics, refresh everything they need, teach everything from, from the ground up, you know? So yeah, that that's my uh, take on that. You said some other stuff here. You said that teaching has really helped me level up my math skills and I look forward to diving into them soon. Yes. So teaching does that. You know, when I first started teaching, I was, you know, fresh out of grad school and, you know, my, my high level math was very strong. And, you know, I, I had come from a place where I was doing just high level math. And then you come from a place where you're just doing high level math. And then you go to teach very, very basic math. You're like, oh, wow, it's been a while since I've seen this basic mathematics. You know, how do you teach polynomial long division? How do you teach, you know, conic sections? So you do have to refresh your skills on, on these lower level subjects you're teaching. And I think that by teaching these lower level subjects, it makes your math so much stronger. You become an expert in calculus when you teach it. You, know, you become an expert when you teach anything. That's why if you're watching this video and you're not a teacher, and you're looking at your teachers and you're thinking, wow, my teachers are so smart. They know so much. It's just because they teach it, right? When you teach something, when you talk about something, when you're when you're explaining something to someone, it forces you to really, really think about how things work. And so, yeah, I think teaching will make your math uh, stronger. No, it's not going to get boring. And no, I, I don't think the more you learn, the harder it is to teach beginners. I think that's a misconception because you have people, you have people that are very good at math but they can't explain it very well, right? And again, I think it's because there's a communication barrier, right? These people just need to really focus on communicating more carefully and more slowly. And just, just really quickly, this reminds me of teachers I've had in the past who put in extra effort. I remember I had a teacher once, he was Korean, and he had a very, very thick accent, like super, super thick. And I think that he thought, that people didn't understand his accent. And so he purposely would go very, very slow, write very slow. And you could tell he was taking extra effort. And I think that made him a superior teacher. I think it made him an amazing teacher. So I think when you when you get teachers who perhaps have communication difficulties, perhaps because they have a thick accent or, you know, again, they're doing very high level research and they're trying to teach something basic, just slowing down and going slower, I think is a good strategy. Another example is when I first taught, taught statistics, I had never taught stats and I was terrified. I walked into that class and I started teaching and my strategy was to go really, really slow. Let me just go as slow as I can and make sure everyone in the class understands everything I'm doing. And that was my goal. And it worked. It worked. I had a great class. Almost everyone got a good grade. I mean, it was a great experience. So if you're ever having trouble teaching, and I know, I know you're not asking about this, but you, if you ever are slow down, go slow, and, and I think it will help you. Anyways, kind of a long rant uh, about teaching, but yeah, you're not going to get bored and teaching is awesome. If anyone else has advice uh, for Jarek, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to buy courses. But, but if you get them, please use the links from my website. If you use my links, you're going to get a very low price because I've lowered the price to make it as low as possible. So you should get a low price. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Good luck.